In update 5.1, we bring a host of changes to World of Tanks Blitz, including multiple changes requested by the player. We've also focused on improving the lives for new tankers and introduced phased access to game features. So sit tight and we will run through some of these changes in this video. One of the most popular requests by players is accumulative mastery badges. As of 5.1, every mastery badge obtained will now accumulate and by logging into your profile, you'll be able to see exactly how many mastery badges you have obtained in total and per tank. You will now be able to register for quick tournaments without the need to be in a clan. You simply register, select which friend you'd like and go. One of the biggest changes coming in 5.1 is phased access to game features depending on which tier vehicle you have unlocked in your garage. Some of the game features will now be unavailable by default from tiers 1 to 5, unlocking new elements as you go up the tech tree and up the tiers. New attachments have also been added in update 5.1. American tier 10 tanks can now be equipped with the commander attachment, and French tier 10 tanks can now be equipped with the corporal rare attachment. Costing 4,000 gold to unlock, you can equip this tier tank via the camouflage section of the game. Another much requested feature was to add the battle results screen to replays. From now on, personal, team, detailed and awards will be added. A new rule has been added to the matchmaker which says starting from tier 5, no more than 3 vehicles of the same type per team will be allowed in a game. And then finally, numerous tanks have been balanced in update 5.1, including frontal armor improvements for the T-34-2 and the T-34-3. The tier 8 WZ-110 has also received a reduction in its hit points and its reload, and its DPM goes from 2,230 to 1,940. And finally, the LTTB receives a reduction from 90 to 75 millimeters on its frontal armor and commander's cupola. That's it for this quick update video, more information can be found on the news portal or within the game. Thank you for watching and we will see you on the battlefield.